Hello everyone, this is Zeta Zan with your political news for September 28th, 2020. Tomorrow is going to be the first presidential debate between Donald Trump and Joe Biden. And I wanted to go over some top political stories that had happened over the weekend. Two of them being one, Donald Trump's tax returns over the past 10 years. And another one being a, a absentee ballot harvesting scandal that has been going on in Minneapolis. So down below in the description, I will provide a link to the website where you can actually watch the video for this uh, at projectveritas.com. So let's go into the story. Elon Omar connected with a cash for ballots voter fraud scheme corrupts elections. You can see in the video a gentleman with over 300 absentee ballots saying these here are all absentee ballots look my car is full money is the king of everything so the, the idea of this scandal is that Elon Omar has agents going out into the local Somali community talking to retirees and elderly collecting their absentee ballots that are not filled in and are empty collecting them and bringing them into the Democrat Party where they're actually filling in these ballots and then returning them to the election process. So this has raised a lot of eyeballs. Uh, people are wondering, does this validate what Donald Trump has been saying over the past couple of months, that the absentee and mail-in voting is actually fraudulent and that there could be a huge amount of election fraud going on? You can see in this video that uh, Project Veritas did. It's a really good video where they talk about how local Somali community insider says it's an open secret. Elon Omar will do anything that she can to get elected. Omar has hundreds of people on the street doing this, which is the absentee boat ballot harvesting. So I'm not going to go reading through all of this. The next big story that came out is Donald Trump's tax scheme. Long concealed records show Trump's chronic losses and years of tax avoidance. So something to put out first is this is something that in 2016, in October 10, 2016, the New York Times tried to put this information out before. And if you recall the Donald Trump's presidential debates with Hillary Clinton he talked about his taxes and he basically said you know the idea behind taxes when you're wealthy is you want to pay the least amount as you possibly can and in his business that he does which is real estate you actually purchase a lot of assets and you mark those assets down as a loss because you're using the revenue and income that you're generating to buy more things so something to consider is in these Trump tax forms that they found, they didn't find anything to do with Russia. Let's scroll down to where that is. So you can go on to this New York Times article. I will put a link in the description as well. Make up your own mind. I'm not gonna give you too much of my opinion on it. The number one thing that I would say is the IRS is not allowed to share your tax information. So by law, this is not even legal. The idea that they can take someone's tax information and share it publicly without their, their acknowledgement seems really messed up. And how do we validate that these are his real taxes considering they're hiding the actual um, information? They're not actually releasing the actual data. They're just interpreting it and then writing a story about, about it. So in regards to these two different events that went on, I was checking Twitter and I was checking the trends for everything. If you look into the U.S. election, the number of one story is Trump's federal income taxes. And again, this is something that I don't even think it's again I think this is against the law to share this considering that Donald Trump didn't willingly share his tax information they took it somehow from the IRS 
And if you go down to these different stories, if you go to trending, number one trending thing right now is some kind of hit song and then Monday motivation with 168 tweets, uh, K-pop, and then you go down and there's 36,000 tweets for hashtag Trump crime family. But if you go farther down, there's another Senate report that just came out on Hunter Biden. So Hunter Biden was getting sweetheart deals going into the board of directors for a Ukraine company called Burisma. They actually paid him several hundreds of thousands of dollars and he took that money and he purchased different things in Eastern Europe and he actually donated money to uh, the Moscow mayor's wife over $3.5 million. So this is another huge scandal going on that was just released last week. So this is trending in politics right now with over 358,000 tweets. Another one that going down, you see the Project Veritas with 425,000 tweets, yet this is number 13 on the trending. So something's going on with the social media. It seems like they're very focused on what the New York Times pushes out. Even though they didn't even get that on a lawful basis, and then you have these other reports coming out from Project Veritas where they did undercover journalism and they found that voter absentee ballot harvesting is going on in Minneapolis. So I, I just wanted to share this news, get it out there, get your thoughts and opinions. If you want to comment down below and tell me what you think about all of this. And please like and subscribe to my channel. This is one of my first videos that I'm producing and I'm going to be doing daily reports on politics, technology. Uh, also, I'm going to be getting into gaming as well and entertainment and just giving my opinions and thoughts on everything. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed the video and please like and subscribe.